okay so uh, welcome to the 12th session of this course now we're going to talk more about css borders property okay um, again borders is something that has been touched a little bit but let's just explore a little bit more in detail what exactly we mean by border and how we set a border around a particular tag in css now um, there are basically two things that we can do with borders uh, the first is that uh, whenever we use border basically it means that we set a border around a particular tag now again this saying this can be same it can be an anchor you can set a border around an anchor you can set a border around a paragraph you can send a border around the h1 tags or for example it can be an ordered list or ordered list or any html tags that you are using you have, even if it's a div tag or anything so every tag that we use in html can have a border around it standardly okay so uh, what basically border does it just creates a line around that component okay and then there are various different controls that we can do to set that border so the first is a border style okay border style specifies this is again an ad property within css border dash style it specifies the what should be the style of this border and there are various different styles that we will just discuss the basic property that we use to set a border is called the border itself so we use the border colon and then we specify this is the width of the border okay so how uh, big and small the thickness of the width uh, border should be okay so this basically specifies the thickness of the border in terms of 5 pixels 2 pixels so it will define that how thick you want the border to be so the bigger the number is the thick the border is the smaller the number is the smaller it is the solid indicates how uh, the style of the border is so this is style is which we have specified separately is basically written here so this is what we call the shorthand style okay the shorthand style means that in one line you specify all three attributes that are used for the border so typically for the border you would need three different properties you would need its width okay you would need its style and then we would need its color so every border needs to have these three properties specified to it so that's why we have a border style this becomes our first property then we use the border width okay this becomes my second property so in order to specify this thing as separately we use border dash width so this becomes my border width and we can specify for example 5 pixels style pixels 8 pixels then the color of the border so we specify border dash color so this indicates that what is the color of my border around the component so this can be again any color number like we have discussed previously it can be a simple color name it can be an rgb value or it can be an hexadecimal value so we use these three properties to specify the border around any particular component this here is what we call a shorthand operator so for shorthand means we just use the border we specify the border width we specify the border style and then we specify the color so in one line we wrote all three of these lines on which typically we would write separately okay and then we have border style so we talked about border style being dotted so this dotted means that around the component i will have a dotted border around it but there are various different styles as well so from dotted to dashed to solid to double to groove to ridge to inside outside so as these names specify this is exactly what they're going to do dotted will create a dotted border dash will create a dash border solid will have a continuous solid border double means there will be basically a double line border and so on and so forth then there is something called none so maybe we don't want to specify a border around a component so this is how we do it we just specify it to none defines a hidden border hidden will be meaning that uh, there will be border but it will not be shown for whatever purpose you want okay so none um, if you are not using or not going to specify any border you can set it to none um, otherwise i mean with it's no point but uh, the none attribute is there and then at the same time you can specify any different styles to it these styles are elaborated further here so we can specify for example border style to be dotted what this will do it will create a dotted border if you specify it to dash there will be a dashed border around the component similarly solid means a continuous solid border double groove ridge and these are all different styles that will be there creating a various different ways we can specify so no border means there will be no border and hidden again border won't be shown but it's there it's hidden and then you can specify the border style to be a mixed as well so you can specify dotted dashed solid and double so now if you note that this is dotted this is dashed this is solid this is double so this is what we call our top this is my uh, left okay this is my bottom and this is my right okay if, if i'm pointing out correctly so in this case uh, this becomes my top is dashed then my left is there then my uh, bottom is there okay and then my right is there 
okay so this is how we specify so in one line we have specified a border so all the four corners will be of seven style for whatever purpose you want but then as yes for example you just want a border on the three sides but not on the top so this is where you specify so instead of dotted you can write none here so now this would none would basically mean that there is a border but i don't want to show any border on the top but I can have a border on the left, I can have a border on the bottom, I can have a border on the right. So I want a border in the three corners just like a container but not on the top. So the top lid will be open. So this is what you can do in the borders. Okay. Um, going a little bit further, you can use border in terms of its width. So we have five pixels, solid and the red color. So we have five pixels, solid red color. When you use a border as a shortened property, it will apply same style on all four corners of the border. However, you can segregate it. Just like in previous example, you can use border left. This means that you want only the border on the left side of your content. So for example, you want to create a menu or an icon or a link some of this style. You can do that by just specifying the border left. So if you can do specify left, that means that you can specify border right as well. Okay, so you can write border right, you can write border top, you can write border bottom. Okay, so you can write all these separately as well. In case if you just write border right, that means that you want border to be on the right side. So if I have a text, this is my right side. So if I have a top, this basically becomes my top. This is bottom, so bottom. So you can customize and specify border around each component individually as well or as a whole as well. So if you specify border, all four corners of the box will be applied. If you just specify a specific side, then on a specific side the border will be applied the settings are same width style the color but the left right top bottom means so if you write left right top bottom you can do that if you just write border basically it means top left right bottom on the same side so in this case border border bottom meaning just on the bottom of my content let's have a border okay then you can specify the style as well on all these different axes so in previous example we showed we use this border style with a shorthand attribute means dotted dash solid and double however if you can want to specify this manually on the separate axis so you can say border top dash style so this means that border on the top side has this style which is dotted border right style will basically mean that on the right side border bottom will mean on the bottom side and bottom left would mean basically on the left side so in previous example i showed you that uh, left is here in fact this left is not here okay uh, this is right and this is left so this becomes my left and this becomes my uh, right okay so i hope this clarify things so this is various different styles that we can use so you can see uh, we can very easily design wise nice looking content of our systems okay similarly you can add a final attribute called roundness so just in case if you want to create this roundness effect you can add a border round uh, radius so border radius will basically mean that I have a border which is two pixels but I want its corner to be radius. So we use this property border dash radius and it will round off the corners depending on how many pixel in terms of roundness you have specified there. Okay. So in case of this five means that this is now five pixels have been rounded off. So you see very nice looking rounded border you can get. So we can use this border to create nice buttons, nice icons, nice menu items or whatever content and we want to design. So we can have a rounded surface, we can have a dash surface, anywhere we want, we can use the border attribute around some of these contents. Okay, so I hope this explains and clarifies many things. So next session, we're now going to talk more about our margins and padding, then we will look into creating something nice using all this we have learned. Okay, so see you next session.